to Elite Wine TV or Sommelier School or maybe I'll make this a Me Today video. Anyway, um, I am Mark Fusco and I'm just here to give a little update of what's been going on with, with the website. Um, we all should know, or well, hopefully everybody knows about the hiatus um, with the reviewing wines um, and Sommelier School is on summer vacation right now. So, but I thought I'd give a little update since it's been a little while since uh, We've chatted and we've said hi and I've had something new on the site. And I just kind of go over what's been going on for the past couple months. Uh, first of all, I did uh, take my Certified Specials of Wine exam, my little certificate. I passed, there's my little pin. Wait, yeah, that's the pin there. And then a um, couple weeks, well, about a week and a half ago, I did my Court of Master Sommelier's uh, Introductory Sommelier exam. So this is my little certificate saying that I passed and there's my little pin for that. So I'm really excited about um, uh, what's going on right now. Uh, so these two things were wonderful things to do. And uh, if you're really gonna be serious into wines, like if you're gonna be uh, in the food and beverage industry, uh, even as a server, um, or as a manager, or if you're um, in retail, uh, or even if you're gonna be a reviewer. So any of these things, I, I highly suggest either or both, you don't have to do both. And, and you don't have to do these things, guys. To get respect about wine, you don't need these little things right here. You don't need these pens necessarily. Um, but it does help to have that little bit of extra recognition um, to, to go somewhere where you, you had to pass a test. And, and by no means, these are not easy tests but they're not, they're not rigorous in the sense that um, you need to know every little thing. And, and what I learned from both of these tests is that um, what we've been going over on sommelier school uh, definitely is, is more than you need to know to pass these first level tests. It's not a huge amount more. It's a little more than you need to know, which is fine because you'd rather walk in going, I got this, because that's what I felt like. You know, I, I when I got the study guide for the CSW exam, you know, I was like, man, this is a lot of stuff, but you know what? A lot of this really is what we went over the past year. And it was really, for me, it was helpful, of course, since I recorded all the videos, to go through this. And, and it's like, it's kind of like when you read a book after you've seen the movie. So that's kind of what it was. I, I would relate a lot of stuff I read in the, in the study guide with stuff that I'd already covered on video. And then I went and I took the test and I thought they did pretty well and I did, I passed. Then this last week, or not last week, but the weekend before, um, I did the sommelier course and the whole two days I'm thinking, man, this is, this is pretty good. I mean, what they're going over is stuff that I, I'm, I'm pretty comfortable with, I, I know pretty well. Um, and uh, again, it made me think of all the little courses that we did. So, um, and then what was cool about the course, and I definitely, so I highly suggest the, uh, the introductory course, even though it's expensive, for two days you get really a, um, a very quick review of everything, okay? Uh, now what's great is, uh, again, I guess I'm really glad I waited as long as I did, because you get this nice study guide when you get there. So it's a little different than, than the other one where you get it ahead of time and you're supposed to go through it then take the test. Um, this one you get a study guide and and you know it's really just almost a, a mirror image of the of their presentations that they do but it's it was just nice to have it there and there would be things like this is important you know like what professors do they say this is something you might need to know because they know um, in general what's going to be on the test I mean they're not giving you specific questions and answers but they're like you know these are things that, that are probably important but the other thing was that they were telling you stuff that you need to know for the next level and next two levels. And those are the really, to me, important also to know because it's, 
One, it's like, okay, I don't need to really know this for the test today, so it's not that you can ignore it, but you know that you don't have to worry about it for that test. You can wait until the next level or the level after that. Um, the, uh, the, the, the critical um, wine tasting is wonderful. It allows you to really get in and uh, have somebody guide you that, that knows what they're doing. Uh, and and you, we did it over the whole two days. So uh, my team got ours right, um, Chianti Classico. So uh, we were off by the vintage. Um, I was trying to let the person know I thought it was a 2006 or not 2006. Well, we had to come up with a specific vintage. We had, we had thought it wasn't a young wine, one to three years. But when she had said the vintage, she said 2007. Well, that's one to three. We were trying to say it was older. Um, but I didn't think it was going to be like really old, like too much older than 2006 to 2005. But we, we got it, which was cool. Um, I got to do this. I got to do the bouquet. It was great. Um, but, uh, you know, it, it, that part was really cool because, you know, there's some things about my, my tasting that I know that I'm weak on when I do the reviews. So it was really cool to, to have that guided stuff. Um, and then the next two days we had the Sommelier conference and again, just a whole bunch of stuff, a whole bunch of great information. I mean, I'm sitting there on my iPad, taking notes wildly. Um, and it was, a, it was a great, great experience. Um, again, if you're in this type of industry and, and wine is a passion for you, um, I, you know, if you can go to one of these courses and take the exam, one, it's just a huge, it's a great learning experience. It's also a great experience to meet a bunch of people that share your same interest, um, that are around your same level, and also have, have, have Master Sommeliers uh, in the room um, to ask questions and talk to. And these guys are super nice and they're awesome. They're really cool. And, you know, it, it, it helps to spell uh, the myth of, of, of wine snobbery. And that was actually one of the first things we talked about in the course was this is not meant to be a snobbish thing. This is meant we, we want more people to come in. We want to be more inclusive of the group to get more people to understand wine better. And that's our jobs. It's to not sit there and go, well, oh, you don't know about the 2009 Bordeaux vintage? Well, pff, what do you know? I mean, that's not it, you know? And, and it's nice to be able to bring people along and you know that's kind of the purpose of all these videos is to bring other people along to kind of go hey you know what i'm not a know-it-all i mean these things in the grand scheme of things do they matter not really they matter on a personal level but do they matter that you know do they matter that i i had these little certificates not necessarily i mean it's not it's not critical to my profession it's not critical to my my current job of where i'm at i mean where i work we don't have you know extensive wine lists i think we have six no we have a seven or eight bottles of wine total between reds, whites. Um, so it's like, it's not like I have this extensive wine list. It's a corporate account. I don't really have any say in what's what's on there wine wise, or even, I mean, I have a little bit of say as far as beer and, and spirits. Um, but again, it's still, I have to, I can only go off of a certain list. I can't just bring anything in. And if I want to, I have to get approvals. So. It's not like you know I'm working in a restaurant where I've got a lot of control over my wine list and my spirits and my beer. Um, so these things really, as far as that situation, my, my actual current work, real job situation, doesn't matter. They don't. I mean, they they're not looking. They're not going to look at this as being anything other than oh, that's oh, okay. Mark went ahead and you know did something. That's kind of cool, but it doesn't. It's not going to necessarily help me uh, where I'm at. However, for me personally, this is something that you know this is. You know, a, a, a big hobby, something that I would love to make more of a, a profession, but um, these things are just for myself, and it's really just kind of, you know, extra validation. Nothing necessarily needed, but it was cool, you know I mean? I know I tweeted validation when I, when I passed the, the, the introductory course. So, um, so what's next? Um, trying to make this go too long. Uh, I don't want this to be an actual sommelier school, of course. So what's next? Well, I'm going to continue to work on sommelier school, continue on the educational stuff, finish up where we, you know, finish up where we left off the next, ex the next exam. The next lesson is going to be South America. Uh, I already had some of it typed. I had most of it typed out. Uh, so I just have to finish that up. Um, we'll resume that the, the week of September 6th, you know, the week of Labor Day. We'll resume uh, the weekly, should be still weekly. Um, but now that I'm not such under a big crunch to get things done like I felt I was, I may make this an every two week thing because you know I have a, 
there is a lot of work that's that's involved with with my work stuff um, and how my how my work schedule is, and just you know wanting to have a I guess a personal life, and I also don't feel so much under the gun to get a bunch of stuff completed. So I'm going to but I'm going to continue with sommelier school. When people go to the website, that's going to be the the the, um, the home page. I'm going to swap it up so that when you go 1337wine.com, sommelier school, the, the whatever lesson, current lesson, that's your front page. That's what you're going to hit first instead of the reviews. The reviews, I'm going to still stay on hiatus. It's it's um, it's not something that I, I really feel right now that I need to spend a lot of time on. Um, Gaining more knowledge on this is what I really want to focus on, and that was the original intent of the site. And I think I mentioned that in the hiatus video. Which, by the way, um, one I'm on TiVo, which is cool, and it's kind of funny. You know, I, I go on hiatus right right after I go on again on TiVo. But that last video for episode whatever that was, one forty three, has like seventeen hundred views. Now, granted, a lot of it it doesn't people don't watch the whole thing. But uh, because I think there's some band named The Hiatus, and I think what it is is people are maybe looking for it and they see The Hiatus, ooh, and then they go, oh, some dude talking about wine. Not even reviewing, he's just black babbling. But what's next? So some more sommelier school. I'll resume that the week of Labor Day. Um, we'll finish up uh, the rest of the world with wine. We'll delve, I'm gonna, what I wanna do is delve a little more into spirits. Now when we did the review, man, we went shotgun through it. It was like, hey, there's vodka, rum, gin, <laughs> scotch, whiskey, and they like, like really like five minutes about each one. Well, I want to delve a little more into that. Uh, beer. I want to delve a little more than what we did in the course into beer. Um, so I want to I want to be able to spend more time with that. Uh, and then service. Now that was one of the other cool things about the course is that there's an actual demonstration of what uh, wine service is. The decanting and uh, they demonstrated the, the, the decanting service and the um, sparkling wine service. And uh, these are things actually from my past from. Ten some odd years ago, that uh, I was taught at, at one of my prior uh, jobs, which was really funny because again, I've never worked anywhere that's had really an extensive wine list. However, my first real restaurant job, as far as a front of house person, um, was somewhere that you know they they wanted to have a higher level of service itself, and one of the things is wine service. And everywhere else I've worked, we open the bottles at the bar, which still kind of makes me, I don't know, I don't like that, but, um, and, and to me, it's, you know, I understand wine's intimidated to a lot of people to servers, and it shouldn't be, but it is. Um, but what I saw demonstrated was almost exactly what I was taught 10 plus years ago. The only difference is that where I work, we didn't do any decanting, so it, it, we didn't have that part, which, you know, was understandable. We weren't dealing with you know, three hundred dollar bottles, five hundred dollar bottles of wine. You know, the, I think the most expensive bottle we had was the Dom Perignon. You know, and and you know, and of course, that's always overpriced um, at restaurants. So, um, but uh, so that was a really cool part of it. So we'll also kind of delve a little bit into the service aspect, and this is all leading up to taking the next level. Now, both of these have a second level. The CSW, the the next corresponding levels called the CWE, the Certified Wine Educator. Now that's a little bit closer to really what the sommelier school is like. Um, now uh, that does involve me actually doing a presentation, so that might be a sommelier school thing, but it's something where they give you a list of things to choose from. You have to create a presentation, either as a video or you have to present it to them. Um, and there's a lot of requirements to it. So that's something that sometime in the next 12 to 18 months I, I'm going to pursue. Um, but you also have a test. Now you take the test and it's a little complicated. You don't. You take the test and then you you tell them you want to do the, the presentation. It's not all done at the same time from, from what I read. The next level for um, for the sommelier stuff, the Court of Master Sommeliers, is the Certified Sommelier. Um, again, it goes a little more in depth. Uh, both of these probably go to about the same level of, of, of uh, in depth, well, same level of knowledge. Um, and also both involve uh, critical tasting of wine. So uh, the wine reviews I have done in the past, I think, helped me out with that. Um, for now, I want to concentrate on the knowledge part. And then uh, maybe sometime next year, we resume actually doing reviews on video um, to, uh, to work on my, to work on my, uh, my stuff. Now, 
One thing I do think I'm, I'm still weak on is this bouquet. So something that I do plan to do between now and whenever I start reviewing wines again um, is to act as if I'm not 21. <laughs> In other words, go go to grocery stores and, and smell a lot of stuff. I mean, the comment was, does anyone even know what a star fruit smells like? So stuff like that. Um, so work on that. Um, so those are the next things. Go a little more in depth. Once I get through everything, then we'll do more in depth things like we'll spend maybe a month, maybe four episodes on Bordeaux, maybe spend four episodes on Burgundy, maybe spend two, three episodes uh, or, or more on other areas of the world so we can go a little more in depth instead of like, oh, here's just a list of things to know. So those are the things that are going on. I don't want to ramble too much longer. Um, I really appreciate everyone still watching, who, who I was watching, to all the people that I met at the conference and uh, at the test. It was great to meet everybody. Uh, I know I was supposed to put this video up like a week ago, but you know, hey, outside world, you know, stuff happens. So, um, you know, I went right to work as soon as I got back and uh, that's when we just met it. Um, keep watching the repeats and we'll see everybody again in a couple weeks for Sommelier School. And that's it.